Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I got to say, there's th this person has been messing with me all day, okay? They've been really affecting my throat chakra. I know they want to say something, but I don't know that something's holding them back here. So, let's just let them talk, okay? This reading is all about what your person wants to say to you. Yes, right? What do they want to say? Um, just take what resonates, my darlings. Leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, Cancer. I love you all so, so much. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for joining this awesome family. And uh, welcome to everybody new here. Welcome. All right. So, Cancer, yeah, what does this person want to say to you? All right. Um, I can't come to you now. My life is a mess right now. I want out. How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? Okay, so their life is a massive mess right now. Um, they're trying to get out of something. I can't make you happy because they can't come to you right now. There's nothing that they can't offer you anything, Cancer. Um, they're stuck in something, okay? Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. See, this is, this is them talking to somebody else. I feel like they're stuck in a karmic situation. They're stuck with somebody who's treating them poorly. They're trying to take a stand. They could be telling somebody that they want out of a situation. I feel like there's a situation here that's coming to an end. Why can't I move on from you? Okay. Um, I, I feel like they're battling with somebody to get out of a situation. I'm also getting cancer that they can't stop thinking about you. They don't know if you're going to forgive them or not. Yeah, the passion is just too much. I feel like they want out of a situation they can't hold themselves back from you anymore. Yeah, and they don't understand why they can't move on from you, why they can't forget about you. This person's in love with you. It's almost like... And they don't understand why the karmic is not releasing them like if this person when they stand up for themselves and they say you know i want out of the situation the karmic gets upset and she's like no you're not going anywhere i feel like that you know or something like that you know like no you're not leaving this situation no this isn't over and i feel like this person just can't understand why this karmic can't ac can't accept that they want out okay and I feel like this person really badly wants to come towards you, but they can't right now because they're trying to get out of this mess. And their life is a total mess. Because they're, they're, it's, a, it's like a crashing tower moment here. Okay, they're losing their stability, their foundation. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of like, I mean, this person's kind of to the point where they're like begging the karmic to, you know, release me. And let me live again. Yeah, I mean, that's the song I'm getting. Please release me, let me go. I don't love you anymore. Yeah, that's what they're telling the karmic. And she's like, forget it. You know, I'm not, I can't promise you anything. Um, yeah, see, and I feel like this is what the, this is kind of what's going on while they're thinking about you. Okay. They are literally stuck in the middle of something here. And the karmic's not giving them what they want. This person, can't, this masculine can't give you um, any kind of legit offer right now until they get themselves unstuck. This is, the person that they're dealing with, the person I'm picking up on, this karmic, She'll literally, like, physically stand in front of a door if they're trying to leave, grab a hold of them physically and pull them back if they're trying to go anywhere, okay? Um, like, it could be getting physical. There's a lot of fighting, and there's a lot of the karmic saying, nope, this ain't going to be over. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. And all this masculine wants to do is come to you. Yeah, I can't take it anymore. They want out. What else does this person want to say to cancer? I have things going on in my life that require my full attention. Yeah, see? 
Well, and you know, honestly, the, the karmic is like demanding their attention right now. Yeah. I wish I could be fully honest with you. Drama. Drama. Yeah, they don't, uh, it's like they know too, if they come and try to talk to you now, you're not going to trust them after that because they're coming to you without breaking free from the karmic. The karmic stirring up all kinds of drama, causing drama, creating dramas, you know. Yeah, there's just too much drama going on. And this person can't offer you, um, they can't offer you anything solid. They have hurt me. Yeah, see, I feel like things get physical. These fights... This drama gets physical, and this person gets physically injured. You know, if this is a masculine and they're with a feminine, they, they could very well just take a whooping and not lay a finger on that feminine, right? Um, I feel like there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, abusive, it, this is very abusive. It's physically abusive, mentally, emotionally, and verbally. And this masculine, they know if they come towards you, this karmic is, they're just going to lead the karmic right to you. So they want to be honest with you. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate. But they can't. This karmic is holding them back. All right, so let me, um, let me get some tarot on it. Clarify this, I want out. What is this mess? Let's see what kind of mess that they're in. So they're trying to tell you here that they're really stuck. They've got this mess going on with the karmic, this big drama, right? And um, they've got to try to end it. And they are trying to end it. What does this person want to say? Um, what is this mess? Spirit. Um, it's about money. Okay, I feel like this masculine is providing for the karmic and she doesn't want, you know, she doesn't want to lose her meal ticket, right? She doesn't want to lose that financial support. This masculine, all they can do is think about sneaking in and out. Okay, they, they want to sneak away and come to you prematurely. This is all that they, this is them wanting out, you know, and they want to come towards you trying to do whatever they can. They could, be, um, they could be doing some kind of manipulating to this karmic to try to sneak away or try to get out. Like they could be um, coming up with some kind of plan here, a tricky plan to um, get the karmic to release them. They're trying to think of any way they can to get out of that situation, and the karmic is so dang clingy. She just won't stop. Look, I feel like this is the karmic's energy. She knows it's over. Oh my gosh, she knows it's over. And she's doing whatever she can to get out. I feel like, you, or whatever she can to hold on to your person, they want to get out, okay? Um, and she's thinking about the things that they have said to her because they are telling her, I want out of this. I don't understand why you don't just let me go. How can you keep clinging on when you know that I don't want to be here anymore? Please release me. Let me go. I don't love you anymore. You know, she's thinking about all of this. She's, she can't sleep at night. She's stressed out. She knows it's over. She knows it's over. Yeah, this person is kind of like on shutdown mode. They really don't want to talk to her. They don't want to they don't want to deal with her at all. There's no enjoyment there. You know, they may they may not be talking to her. They're definitely not sharing a bed together that I can see. This person feels like they're being held captive. Okay? And they know, too, that you've been waiting to hear something from, you know, hear from them with some kind of information or some kind of apology or justice. They know you've been waiting for this, Cancer. And they really do want to take some kind of action towards you. But if they come towards you now, they got nothing to offer anyway. And um, they know they can't come towards you unless they're single and free. Yeah, they need to bring about this tower. 
I kind of get the sense that they're having a daily tower with this karmic. This is something that needs to come to an end. Totally. It's, it's already all played out. You know, and if they remain in that situation and allow the karmic to just walk all over them and control them like this, um, then they're, they're basically restarting a new toxic karmic loop, okay? And they'll be stuck in that karmic loop. This is somebody who has to just end it. Uh, and they're trying to, but why hem and haw with it? You know, I, I feel like the word no is something that people just can't argue with. You know, the word no, you can't, how can you argue with the word no? Flat out no, no. And just leave. How can, you know, yeah, this person needs to take a stand. They need to stand up. They need to get themselves unhooked from all of this, right? Um, out of this mess, break free from it. They really do feel like they're being held captive. And I've brought that up in the reading a few times. Um, this really is a, a karmic who will grab a hold of their ankles as well. Like I said, it's like she grabs a hold of them. But yeah, they want to break free from this now. You know, this person is no longer upside down in things anymore, okay? They're no longer feeling like completely lost and not knowing what to do. They know what they need to do. This is the hangman coming out in reverse. And they're being spiritually led to go after the one that they want. Yes, that is the truth. That's the truth. And they are exposing this to the karmic, like they're telling her this. She just won't let set them free. I feel like there's going to be some divine intervention here with, um, with the higher font and the tower in the background. This karmic is about to have a, a major tower moment if she doesn't release this person. When they're trying to get free, they're being honest, they're trying to do this right, okay? If she doesn't release them, spirit's going to, like, remove her somehow, okay? She knows. She knows she's actually backed up against a wall because she can feel that it's over, and as much as she wants to fight it, she also can feel that she's going to get her karma and be brought down if she, if she doesn't release. So, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be over with this karmic one way or another. And then this person is going to come forward to you and want to heal things with you. They want their earth angel. They want their star. You're a light worker here, Cancer, whoever I'm talking to. Yep, you're a light worker. And you know what? Honestly, I feel like this person has been watching you this whole time. Okay? They've watched you transform. They've watched you have a glow up. They, uh, you may have your own platform, um, public speaking platform, social media, something on the internet where you're, you're seen in the public eye. You're delivering spiritual messages, talking about um, releasing, healing, dropping burdens, things like that, okay? And they're learning from this. They know what they need to do. And you've been out here in the spotlight helping them learn what they have to do. So you've been kind of a guiding light for this person. What do they want to say to Cancer? I feel like they want to heal this. Yeah, it's time. Um, I feel like this person wants to communicate. They're trying to break free. Okay, yeah, they want to get back together, Cancer. There may be a lot of gossip about you as well. I always get gossip off the Three of Cups, you know. I feel like this karmic is um, maybe starting to spread this masculine secrets all over the community, okay? I feel like there's a lot of gossip a lot of laughter that she's making this masculine a, a mockery, but yet holding them into a, in a situation that they don't want. She's very controlling and she's going to like totally take away this person's manliness, you know? She wants to turn them into some kind of puppet. 
And she's publicly humiliating them with all of this gossip. She's exposing their secrets. You may see this. You may see something on the internet. I feel like she's posting it for everybody to see. Okay? And one of the reasons she's doing that, Cancer, is because she knows you may see it. And if you see it, you may be uninterested in this masculine. You know, she kind of kills two birds with one stone that way, right? She publicly humiliates the masculine, and she ruins their chances for getting back together with you in the future, if you see what she's going to post. Okay? So you're about to see something probably very shocking. It's probably going to come off as more like a list, right? It almost feels like a list of things um that like little bullets of things that she's it's talking about them revealing their innermost secrets um all for in the public eye for everybody to see uh intimate details intimate secrets things that this masculine does not want you to know okay you know and it's all to not just uh wreck their reputation but also to make you turn away from this person, okay? Yeah, see, this is illusions coming down. You're about to find something out, Cancer. I, I, you're going to witness something here, or um, you're going you're gonna to see something on the Internet that this karmic posts or something like that, and it may shock you. Um, yeah. She could even be posting something here to make you jealous or to make your person jealous why am i feeling like especially if you're in the public eye right if you have any kind of profile photo or anything like that she could even be pretending to be you or putting photos out there about you i don't know i don't i don't know if anybody would be that stupid to do something like that but, um, yeah, it, it's almost like she's building an illusion around your face. I keep looking at your face and this going off like a, like a flash on a camera. So I feel like she may be using your photo for some of these posts online or something. It's to make your person feel jealous. Like they may be posting something, um, saying you're doing something, right? And, um, but it's, and posting it on social media, but it's not you. I don't know how she's doing that. Take that how it resonates. It's not for everyone, but she's stirring up so much drama. Okay. She's pulling you into it too. And this person, this masculine, they can't bear it anymore. They literally can't take it anymore. Okay. And there's so much that this masculine has done. In, during this time of separation, things that you don't know about, things that may even make you feel sick, cancer, okay? And they've been hiding it. I feel like they've been hiding these things from you. They do not want you to find this out. This is like, this has given me like the feeling of impending doom, okay? If you find this information out. Or if they're seeing something posted about you. I, I feel like it's their secrets. Because it's stuff that they're trying to hide. Okay. You're about to see something. It may even make you feel... It may make you feel sick. It may make you a little bit upset. Okay. Maybe angry. I don't know. I don't know what this karmic is about to put out there. They're going to want a quick run and, oh boy, that this person, if, if they know that you're seeing this and you find out their secrets, they're going to want a quick, very quickly come in. This is somebody scrambling, I feel. Scrambling to give you a quick apology. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's like that. Maybe bringing you a gift, something. This is somebody who's going to want to quick come and scurry to you to apologize if you see this. So yes, this is their secrets that they're trying to hide. Oh, Cancer. You could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I had a, the King of um, Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. 
See, you know, and some of you aren't even paying any attention to the internet. You know, you're too busy. You're, you've been too busy building something, growing something. You know, honestly, if you see this, I feel like it's going to shock you. Okay, it is. And it's going to be like, what the crap is this? Like, that's going to be your, um, your initial reaction. Okay, you're going to be like, who would post stuff like this? It will be a very long list of their secrets, one right after the next. Or it'll be photos that they don't want you to see. Whatever it is they don't want you to know that's what's going to be put online okay and I feel like it, it, it is um, exposure of secrets at this point cancer and I, you're just going to regain focus you're going to see it you're kind of going to be a little bit shocked okay especially with the ace of wands out here I feel like it's just going to shock you it's going to be like too much information you know what I mean overwhelming information but then you're gonna go right back to doing what you're doing once again I've got the king of cups on the bottom of the deck this person they're gonna be so emotional so upset they're gonna be furious okay um, devil toxic energy is gonna be exposed in these secrets things that they don't want you to know okay Oh my gosh, they see you as the empress, they see you as everything. And this karmic, she's so jealous of you, she knows she can't compete with you. The only thing she can do to try to ruin this is to do this, public exposure. And now this is slander. So I, this is something that I feel she could even go to jail for. And she's willing to make that risk just so she doesn't lose this person to you. Okay, <clears throat> for real, because she there's no way this person can uh, compete with the empress, you know. Yeah, look, and that's what she's doing. This is like a competition. Look, there's two feminine energies in this picture having a face off. Okay. Yep. She's willing to risk like her own freedom. Okay to, um, you know, to make sure that this masculine doesn't get back with you. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person, um, your person, they want to commit. I feel like they want to commit to you. They're, they they want to be solid to you. They don't want the devil anymore. You know, I don't want the devil anymore, <laughs> right? They're going to realize they're with the devil. They chose the devil over you, especially once this karmic. Yeah, look at all of this regret. I don't want the devil anymore. She's ruining my reputation. She's ruining me. And the one that they do want is getting away. That's you, Cancer. Moving on to calmer waters. Living a life of peace. You're like, I don't want to be any part of this mess. Oh, yeah. They've learned their lesson from this uh, devil feminine energy. They've learned their lesson from her. They're getting slandered. They're getting publicly, publicly humiliated. Their reputation is being dragged through the mud. All of their secrets are being exposed. Like everything this person, everything this karmic can think of is being put out on the internet. Okay. Um... Yeah, they've, they've been, look, and this is a lot. This is a lot. Each one of these swords I'm seeing as a secret that they were trying to keep from everyone, especially you, and it's all coming out. Okay. Yeah, so get ready for this, Cancer. You're about to, um, <laughs> you're about to see a whole long list. They're, you're going to see their naughty list, Cancer. Okay. Anyway, my darlings, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I love you. Um, yeah, just remember to like and subscribe, right, if you like this vibe. And join this awesome soul tribe, you guys. It's the best soul tribe out here, I think. And until next time, Cancer, know that I love you. Take care of you, and peace out.